hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to continue with solving questions to prepare ourselves for the upcoming wasi exams now this is number six and it happens to be a problem on simultaneous equations this is word problem on simultaneous equations now let's read the question i have a number of 20 cds and 50 cds notes in my pocket there are no other notes I will tell you two things. There are 21 notes all together and their total value is 690 CDs. The question is, can you tell me how many of each notes I have? Let me take the question again. I have a number of 20 CDs and 50 CDs notes in my packet. There are no other notes. I will tell you two things. There are 21 notes all together and their total value is 690 cities. Can you tell me how many of each notes I have? Now let's put down some important information from the question. Okay, from the question, I have a number of 20 cities and 50 cities notes in my packet. So we don't know the number of 50 CDs, neither do we know the number of 20 CDs notes in my packet. So we say that let X be the number of 20 CDs notes, okay? Let X be the number of 20 CDs notes in my packet. And then let Y also be the number of 50 CDs notes the number of 50 CDs notes in my packet. Now we are told that there are 21 notes all together. So it means that the number of 20 CDs notes plus the number of 50 CDs notes all together are 21 notes. Okay. So X plus Y is equal to 21. So we have an equation here. Let's call this equation 1. Again, we are told that their total value is 690 CDs. So what this primarily means is that when you count the money in terms of value, they sum up to 690 CDs, okay? So we say that 20 CDs times the number of 20 CDs, that is 20 times X, plus 50 CDs times the number of 50 CDs, which is Y, so 50 times y all together is equal to 690 cities so this is our second equation equation 2 now since we have two equations we can solve them simultaneously to obtain the value of x and the value of y so that's what we are going to do so from equation 1 we can make x the subject. So from equation 1, x is equal to 21 minus y. Let's call this equation 3. Now we are going to substitute equation 3 into equation 2 to find the value of y. So put equation 3 into equation 2. So that's going to be 20 times x. We have x to be 21 minus y plus 50y equals 690. Now let's multiply across. So we have 20 times 21. That is 420. 20 times negative y is negative 20y plus 50. 50y equals 690 so 420 now negative 20y plus 50y is plus 30y equals 690 because you want to find the value of y we transpose 420 to the right hand side so this becomes 30y equals 690 minus 420 0 minus 0 is 0, 
9 minus 2 is 7. And then 6 minus 4 is 2. So we have 270. We divide through by 30. And then we have the value of y to be 30 goes into itself once into 270 nine times. So we have y equals 9. Now we are going to put y into equation 3. So for equation 3, we have x equals 21 minus y. And then y is equal to 9. So x is equal to 21 minus 9. x is equal to 12. Now we said that x is the number of 20 cities notes. And then y is the number of 50 cities notes. So therefore, we say that the number of 20 cities notes x is equal to 12 and the number of 50 cities notes which is y is equal to 9. So let's move on to question number 7. So for question number 7, this happens to be a question on partial variation. In Ghana, the cost of electricity, C, in cities, is partly a constant and partly varies as the cube of the number of units, U, consumed in a month. When U is 100 units, the cost is 53 cities. And when U is 250 units, the cost is 345.50 cities. Now we are going to find A, an expression for C, in terms of U. And then secondly, the number of units consumed in a month in which the cost is 100.50 cities. Now to solve this question, first of all, we need to write a relation, okay? We need to write a relation connecting C and then U. So that is what we are going to do. So from the question, we are told that C is partly a constant, okay? So C is equal to K1 and so we have the addition sign and partly varies as the cube of the number of units U. So we have plus K times U cube because it says that it partly varies as the cube of the number of units u so this is the cube of u and because it is partial variation we have two constants okay now we are told that when u is 100 units we have the cost to be 53 cities so when u is 100 c is 53 and then secondly when u is 250 we have C to be 345.50. So now we have two values of U and then C. So we are going to substitute these values into this relation to form two equations and then we can solve them simultaneously. So let's start off with the first set which is U equals 100 and then C equals 53. So we have the cost to be 53. So from this equation we have 53 equals k1 plus k times 100 cube. Now 100 cube is 1 million. So we have 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 k. So this is 1 million k. Now let's call this equation 1. Now to the second set, we have u to be 250, we have c to be 345.50. So this becomes 345.50 equals k1 plus 250 cube. So we have k times 250 cube, okay, k times 250 cube. 
so this also becomes k1 plus 250 cube is 15 million 625,000 let's call this equation 2 so we have two equations we can solve them simultaneously now you realize that the coefficient of k1 and k1 in all of the equations are the same they are all one so we can use the method of elimination to do away with k1 so that we can find the value of k so we say that equation 1 minus equation 2 so we have equation 1 to be 53 equals k1 plus 1 million k minus 345.50 equals k1 plus 15 million 625,000 key. So this is equation 1, this is 2. So 53 minus 345.50 is negative 292.5 equals k1 minus k1 is 0. And then we have 1 million k minus 15 million 625,000 key. That's going to be negative 14 million 625,000 key. Now we can divide through by negative 14 million 625,000. So after dividing through by this value, we have k to be 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5. So this is the value of k. Now we can put this value in any of the equations. So let's pick equation 1. So from equation 1 we have 53 equals k1 plus 1 million k. So we can make k1 the subject. So k1 will be equal to 53 minus 1 million times k. This time we have k to be 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5. So we have k1 equals 53 minus now 1 million times 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 is 20. Now 53 minus 20 is 33. So we have k1 to be 33. Now since we know the values of the two constants which are k and then k1, we can substitute these values into this equation so that we've been able to express c in terms of u. So we had we had the value of k to be 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 and then we had k1 to be 33. And then also from the question, we had the relation c equals k1 plus k times u cube. So let's substitute the values of k and then k1 into this equation. So this becomes c equals 33 plus 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 times u cube. So this is an expression of c in terms of u. Now this is supposed to be a. So let's find or let's solve for b. We are asked to find the number of units consumed in a month in which the cost was 100.50 cities. So when the cost is 100.50 cities, we are going to find the number of units consumed in that month. So using this same formula, we have C equals 33 plus 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 times U cube. We have C to be 100.50 cities. So 100.50 equals 33 plus 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 times u cube. So we transpose 33 to the left hand side. So we have 100.50 minus 33 
equals 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 u cube. Now 100.50 minus 33 is equal to 67.5 equals 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 u cube. And then we divide through by 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5. 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5. So we have u cube to be equal to 3 million 375,000. Now because we want to find the value of u, we are going to take the cube root of both sides of the equation. The cube cancels the cube root and then we have u to be equal to the cube root of 3 million 375,000 so the cube root of this value gives us 150 so we have u to be equal to 150 units so it means that 150 units was consumed in a month when the cost when the cost was 100.50 cities thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye